Hello, welcome back. So, the title is not incorrect. We are going to be decorating for Valentine's Day. However, I need to run up to Dollar Tree because I am on the hunt for some conversation hearts. You know, the little hearts that say like, I love you and so sweet and be mine and stuff. Yesterday when my daughter was at dance class, I ran into the Dollar Tree right next to her class and they didn't have any conversation hearts. And I was like, what? I know Dollar Tree used to have conversation hearts. So, garage is shut. Do any of you guys leave your house and you like have left and you've been gone for like five minutes, you're like, did I shut the garage? That happens to us all the time. We got the goods. I am so happy that they had the conversation hard. Let's go decorate. I cannot sing. I know. I know. But I'll tell you what, during this pregnancy, all I've been doing is singing. My husband and my daughter are like, what has gotten into you? You're constantly singing. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but maybe this baby's gonna come out as a singer. Who knows? Not gonna get any singing talent from me, but may just get the, you know, the, the, what's the word? I don't, I, I don't, I don't even know. Let's go decorate. Okay, so here is all of my Valentine's Day decorations. Um, you know, I don't have a lot. I still got a good enough amount to be able to spruce this place up, make it feel Valentine's Day-y, and um, yeah. All this stuff I've had, wait, this is new this year from Dollar Tree, I shared my last Dollar Tree haul, as well as this little box. Then everything in this bag I just recently picked up at Dollar Tree, and then the rest of the stuff I've had, and obviously I've had everything in this box. Everything in this box is either from Dollar Tree or Target Dollar Spot. I didn't decorate. I need to bring you down lower. Hold on. Okay, that's better. I didn't decorate last year for Valentine's Day. I'm pretty sure. So I honestly haven't, I feel like I haven't looked in this box in forever. So let's just go through this and I'm gonna figure out kind of where I want. Mainly, I just want to do my coffee bar a little bit to it, maybe a little bit to this table right here. Um, and then a little bit in, like I have like a dresser thing in my dining room. I guess you would call it a buffet. It's actually used as a dresser though. Oh, a DIY front that I did a long time ago. I don't even remember when I did that or how I used it. I don't think I can reuse this. Oh, I had two of them. What did I do with these, I wonder? Why not put on a heart headband if you have one and you're decorating for Valentine's Day, right? Okay, I have a lot of these little doily things. I should do something with them. I don't have time to get all too crafty. So, we'll put those to the side. I wanna look at the things I can actually utilize right now to decorate. This little XOXO sign that was definitely from Target Dollar Spot a while ago. I had to have gotten this. I don't even know where I got this from. That's cute though. That's cute. Banner! What else do we have? This has seen better days. Totally forgot about this. Actually, I just don't even remember having this. What? When did I even get this? I have to use it though. That is cute. Gosh, that had to have been something I found at Target. Aw. I didn't see these at Dollar Tree. Like, Dollar Tree hasn't had this kind of stuff this year, I don't think, right? No, this was cute though. I'm definitely gonna utilize that. Got another one of those. How many of these do I have? A lot of them. What is this? What could this be? Uh-oh, he has two things. Oh no. <gasps> A DIY I did? Totally forgot about this. What? Look at that. Hmm, they held up pretty well. Well, okay. Do I have two of those? I think this got to be the other one. It is. Wow, I'm pretty impressed that that has held up for that long because they definitely didn't do that last year. Filler little hearts, we'll use those for sure. Oh, this is when I had a little, uh, I lost my three tier tray thing that I had for the longest time. I have no idea, it was like a galvanized one. 
Did they have coffee mug, um, Valentine's coffee mugs this year? I don't remember seeing any Valentine's Day coffee mugs this year. coffee bar area is looking super cute however the fact that I don't have any of that blue teal color on the top shelf is kind of annoying me a little bit and I actually bought this gift bag at Dollar Tree to put in a frame to possibly utilize in my coffee area so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna clean off this old frame that I have that I just had like scrapbook paper in. I love using Dollar Tree gift bags to put in frames. I do them all the time. Oh my gosh, I have so much glitter on me. I'm just gonna take the piece of paper that I had in there and trace this bag. So I like to go ahead and like cut the bag down the middle just so it's easier to cut, you know, a little bit more specific. Good morning. It's the next day. 
I was going to do this last night, but I honestly got very tired. So I wanted to try something that I've seen on Pinterest, and it is making heart-shaped cupcakes using a marble to make like the heart shape. So I just got some, A, I'm really in the mood for some yellow cake with chocolate frosting. Mm. So I figured I would try and bake some heart shaped cupcakes and see if this little like hack using a marble from the Dollar Tree would work. Um, the marbles, unfortunately, that I could find at Dollar Tree are not like fully round. They're like more flat on the bottom. There we go. Um, so I'm not sure if that's gonna make a difference. I also saw a hack where you could just like roll up um, some tin foil and try it that way. So we're gonna do both. We're gonna see which one works better and if any of them work. So I'm gonna bake the cupcakes now and then I have to run a couple errands and then we'll come home and ice them and see how they end up looking. Gotta preheat the oven. Okay. Cupcake pan cupcake liner so what they say you do is you put the cupcake liner in the cupcake then supposedly take the marble and kind of go like oh I see I see I see how it could make that shape and then it makes like a little heart okay ball and see. I think the foil method is going to work very similar to the marble method. So if you don't have any marbles on hand, try the foil method. I don't know. We don't even know if this is going to work. We're going to, you would think it would though. This year, the year of 2020, I have decided that I'm going to bake more. Now, yes, I know this is baking from a box, so that's not really the same thing, but the fact that I'm frosting them like with a little like frosting bag and that kind of stuff. That is all a step up for me. And um, I just want to get better at like making appetizers and desserts and stuff like that. Like I obviously cook for my family, but I don't feel like confident with my cooking to where if we have people coming over, like I don't have like specialty dishes that I prepare appetizers or like charcuterie boards and stuff like that. And I wanna get better at that kind of stuff. So this is the year that I said I really want to start trying a little bit harder and making an effort to becoming better at that stuff. But for now, we're baking it out of a box, baby. Lennon and I did make cookies from scratch. That was very fun. Although my royal icing from scratch turned out not good, so gotta work on that. This is one of my favorite bowls in the whole world, and it is from Dollar Tree. I use it for baking pancakes. I find it's very convenient because of the little spout for um, cupcakes. This bowl is a great little bowl. So do you guys do anything special for Valentine's Day? We, my husband and I, we never do. We, it's not a big deal to us. Um, I honestly think we've started celebrating Valentine's Day more when we had our daughter and not by like doing anything crazy but like I don't know decorating I definitely never decorated for Valentine's Day before I had a kid but it's just not a big deal to us like we'll get each other something little probably but my birthday is also on the 12th so it's right before Valentine's Day and I'm not a big birthday person either. I, for other people I am, but for myself, I, I, I'm not a big fan, I don't care. Uh, I just like to get something like cute and little for my daughter and you know, give my husband like a Valentine's Day card. Normally we go out to dinner, drink some champagne. Obviously, can't drink any champagne this year. But I know some people go like all out for Valentine's Day. They go crazy with like gifts and I've never been like an extravagant gift person or jewelry person or purse or designer. I, I don't really care about that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I like nice things here and there, but I don't want to like spend money on that kind of stuff when there's other more important things that we could spend our money on, you know? Uh, maybe one day they'll change if I have way more money, but at this point in time, not there yet. So I like to do things on a budget. Woo, this is 
thick. I was gonna take out my mixer. I was like, I can just do this by hand. It's not that big of a deal. But whew, that's it to do it for two minutes. I don't have two minutes of strength <laughs> left in me. My goodness. I just feel like this is way thicker than, um, I keep looking at it like maybe I did something wrong. So this is what they look like in the things. Um. I would say they look like a mess. Yeah, definitely a mess. I'm telling you, this was so thick. You can see little marbles. That one I don't think is gonna be in that good of a heart shape, but we'll see. We're gonna put them in, see how it goes. It's the effort that matters, right? Okay, so I think these were kind of a fail. I don't know, like these did the best. I obviously filled them up too high. So my bad. Regardless, I'm still going to ice them and put some pink sprinkles on them. So I'm going to let those cool and I'm gonna run some errands. So I just got back from running some errands. I did go ahead and pick up some more conversation hearts for my coffee bar because I went by Dollar Tree and they had the conversation hearts. So I grabbed them so I could fill up my little things a little bit more. And I went ahead and got another thing of cake mix because these muffins were a fail. You see my new plant? I got a plant for this back corner. I moved the vase that was in there back into my room. I still need to change out like the floral that's still like wintry. But I moved that vase back out to here during Christmas time because the Christmas tree I had in my room was in that spot. So then I moved that vase out here and then I wanted to move that back in here and add like a green plant. And so I got this faux bird of paradise. It's really cute with the little stand. I would love to get a real one in this house, but I just don't have enough natural light. Like it's all um, very filtered light. So I found this, I thought it looked pretty realistic and I love the little stand that it's on. It wasn't cheap though, it was $129.99. But I feel like Though these kinds of plants for the size that they are they always get expensive I think it looks really pretty with all the Valentine's Day stuff, too I love pink and green together my husband and my daughter are almost back home And I'm going to attempt one more time to make some cupcakes I'm gonna fill them up a little bit less and see if that helps and you know give it one more shot Oh also I forgot to say um, I tried one of these cupcakes. Okay, so look look at what ha happened they <laughs> They like sunk in the middle. So, um, I called my mom <laughs> because did I mention I'm not a baker? And I was like, what would cause these to sink in the middle? And she was like, did you open the oven a lot or like move around or anything? I was like, no. Um, but I did open it one time and test it with a toothpick and it needed more time. So I'm thinking maybe the fact that I did that is what did this and it even needed more time than that because when I tried one, it was not completely cooked in the middle. So this go around, I'm going to A, and not fill it up as much and B, cook it longer overall and not open the oven. So we'll see. <laughs> so I'm making the second batch and this time it's literally Literally the same exact um, cake mix because Dollar Tree had the same exact cake mix. So I just got the same one from Dollar Tree and I decided to use my actual mixer this time. And um, it's way less thick, which is kind of making me think that maybe I forgot to add the water last time. Oh, I don't know. We got this mixer when we got married, me and my husband, not me and you, you know, uh, which was 14 years ago. Uh, so, you know, it's a Cuisinart, Cuisinart, however you say that. But it never like gets all the way down at the bottom. I have to like go back in with the spatula and, and kind of like, you know, work it in and then mix it again. Is that how all mixtures are? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a baker, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, so I filled them a less full, obviously this time. And for sure, I think I forgot to put water in last time and that's what made it so thick because this was not thick. I mean, it was thick like it's supposed to be, but not overly thick. So, hmm, my bad. Okay, so I have less than two minutes left, but I started like smelling something. Ew, this, I obviously need to clean my oven. And why is it that they look like they're burnt? I am not having good luck. How would they burn? It's I said 
19 to 23 minutes. I put them in for 20 minutes. You guys, I'm having the worst luck. So they're burnt, like they're actually burnt. I took one out and it's burnt on the bottom. I think I'm gonna try one last time. A different kind of box cupcake. I think I might go back to the Funfetti cupcakes because they've never done me wrong. I looked on Pinterest a little bit more and it said to put the marble or the tin foil in a ball in after you put the cupcake like mix into the liner. So I'm gonna give it one last shot, one last shot. And I'm going to do it like that. But I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to do that because your girl is tired. What I thought was just one day of Valentine's Day decorating baking is now going to turn into the third day. But I just feel like I don't want these cupcakes to get the best of me. I gotta try one more time. I think these are going to be the one. I made sure I have all the right ingredients in. I have the oven preheated at the correct temperature. I also filled the cupcake liners up first, then added the marble, which I think maybe, maybe will make a difference because you can kind of see that they look, look a little bit more heart-shaped. We haven't even gotten them frosted yet. And she's had two. You love Funfetti cupcakes without frosting, huh? Why are you eating a Funfetti cupcake too? Because it's on my thumb. <laughs> oh my god. I think they did turn out much more heart-shaped uh. than the last ones. So these are definitely a win and I'm going to frost them, but definitely add the marble after you fill up with the cupcake mix. You know, do the cupcake mix, then add the marble, I think is the big difference. And then make sure you have the right ingredients in and the oven set at the right temperature. Ooh, look at this one. This one's super hearty. Just finished icing the cupcakes. An icing piping master, I am not. But I tried my best and I think they look cute. Look from above, I think you can tell that they're heart-shaped, right? I don't know, but it's the thought that counts. I think they look cute on my little cake stand and you know what, they're gonna tastes good and that's really ultimately what matters the most so I think that one's the best heart-shaped one I don't know what do you think so that is it for this Valentine's Day decorate and bake with me I hope you guys enjoyed decorating along with me all my baking disasters but you know we pulled through in the end it worked out good enough for me if you did enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new I would love to have you subscribe thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video and happy Valentine's Day bye